Hello everybody, I'm Miss Munmun. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going on a vintage cooking adventure and we are making a Coca-Cola brisket inspired by a 1950s recipe. Now I found this recipe from The Starving Chef and they say that they found it from a 1950s recipe but I can't find a reference to which 1950s recipe or where exactly it's from. So if you by any chance magically happen to know where it's from, please let me know by mentioning in the comments below or sending me an Instagram message. I'd love to know where this originally came from. Now we have made a brisket on this channel before. You might remember our Mrs. Maisel brisket, which was super delicious. So I am very optimistic and excited about today's episode. Once again, our brisket is deliciously provided by Outback Beef, who are so good with their animals. They have beautiful ethics, so I know that my beef was well looked after before it reaches my table. As always, before we get started, it's aprons on. Let's have a look at what we will need for today's recipe. For today's recipe, we will be using this beautiful piece of brisket. We will also need some vegetable oil with salt and pepper, red wine, some white onion, carrots, an abomination of a vegetable. I will be adding my mushrooms, some garlic, crystallized ginger, cherry tomatoes, crushed tomatoes, some tomato sauce. Of course, the star ingredient then being some Coca-Cola. Now the 50s were the golden age of Coca-Cola and they added it to almost everything, including cakes and of course, savory dishes. When the Coke cooks down, it leaves behind a really delicious caramelized flavor, which just adds a lot of depth to certain meats. And in stews like this, which have a long time of cooking, they just come out delicious. So as you notice, there's a lot less sweeter ingredients in this one versus the Mrs. Maisel, which had the cranberry sauce and the brown sugar, all the sweetness will come from the Coca-Cola. I am so excited to get started, so let's get to cooking. To begin, we are going to preheat our oven to 150 degrees Celsius. And in a Dutch oven, we are going to heat up some oil. Once it is sufficiently hot, that's my little meat dip test, we will put our brisket, which has been well seasoned down, and season the other side with some salt and pepper. After a quick flippy flip, we will brown off the other side and I'll also brown off all the other edges as well as I can. After removing our brisket, we will add in our wine and let that reduce for two to three minutes. I use this time to scrape off as much flavor off the bottom of the pan as I can. Once sufficiently scraped, we will add in our onions and let them saute until soft, which will take about five minutes. I'm now going to add in my carrot chunks and my celery, as well as my mushrooms so I can enjoy my meal later. I will give that a good mix and hopefully coat as much of the veggies as I can in the wine. Next, I am going to add in my ginger and garlic. I will now add in my cherry tomatoes, my crushed tomatoes, and my tomato sauce. It is now time to add in our star ingredient, which is our Coca-Cola. We need about two cups, so I am just pouring it in nice and slowly, letting it reduce a little bit, give it another mixy mix, and we will now add in our brisket. I am trying to dip it in as much of the sauce as possible, and I'll go ahead and label some of the vegetables on top. I'm trying to nestle it as best I can because we want all those flavors to infuse together. I'm now going to go ahead and pour some more coke over the brisket. And I forgot to add some parsley, so just pretend that I am adding parsley. I will now put the lid back onto my Dutch oven and pop her in the oven for about two hours. So she is now in the oven where I will leave her for about two hours. 
Now my piece of brisket is a little bit smaller than what the recipe asked for, so I don't think it needs as much time to cook. The temperature is also a lot less than the Mrs. Maisel one, so it's a bit more of a slower process. I will be checking her at the two hour mark, and then once again after an hour just to see how she's going because I don't want her to dry out. Now anyone who eats a lot of brisket knows that it tastes the best the next day. So now that I have separated the meat from the sauce, she is popped into the fridge where she will sit and rest. Tomorrow I will slice her up and heat her up with the sauce and serve it. Of course my camera malfunctioned and I didn't notice so I tried the brisket on camera without actually recording it. It's so delicious guys. It's not as sweet as the Mrs. Maisel one so my partner preferred this version a little bit more but it is definitely delicious. And that is the 1950s Coca-Cola brisket. If you would like more information about today's recipe or any photos of the process, you can find all that in my blog, which I have linked in the description box below. That is all I have time for you guys today. Thank you so much for joining me on another vintage cooking adventure. I would love to have you guys along on all my vintage glamour and tomfoolery adventures, so please feel free to like, comment and subscribe, as well as find me on any of my social media. All the links are down below. I will see you guys all next week with a brand new video, but until then, be kind, be true, be you, and I'll see you then. Bye! Oh wait, I can't eat. Damn endo!